Hi, I'm Ben Felder with the Oklahoma Gazette, and here's your City Council Roundup for Tuesday, June 10th. One hundred billion dollars! Oh, gentlemen, silence! Okay, so it wasn't quite a hundred billion dollars, but the Oklahoma City Council approved a new budget for one point one billion dollars that will go into effect on July 1st. Now that uh, new budget includes the addition of 40 new police officers, seven new positions to the fire department, and increased public transportation funding that is expected to add night service to some of the city's central routes. Now in addition to the new fiscal year budget, the city council also discussed tax breaks for Cabela's, an outdoor retailer that announced last week that it is coming to Oklahoma City as part of a new development on the city's north side. Now the council voted seven to one to give the Economic Development Trust permission to uh, continue negotiating with Cabela's on uh, a tax incentive package that is expected to be somewhere around three and a half million dollars. The lone no vote from the council came from Ed Shadid, who said that he saw Cabela's as extorting the city for that taxpayer money by basically threatening to go to another municipality if they didn't get what they wanted. Now, uh, Shadid has been an uh, outspoken opponent in the past for tax breaks and tax incentives. Uh, the city has offered uh, tax incentives for various retailers and businesses in exchange for setting up in Oklahoma City and bringing jobs. Also for the council today, uh, it was approved to move the Spokies Downtown Bike Share Program uh, from under the umbrella of the Downtown OKC Incorporated Organization to the city's transit department. Now, the city has always overseen the uh, Downtown Bike Share Program, but now the transit department later this summer will have the uh, hands-on maintenance of uh, Spokies. Now, Spokies began two years ago. In its first year, it drew over 7,000 riders. In year two, which is just coming to a close, it's already hit the 11,000 mark. So there does seem to be some interest, uh, some growing interest among downtown uh, workers and residents for Spokies. City officials also said that in year two, the Spokies program is expected to finish in the black. For the Oklahoma Gazette, I'm Ben Felder.